Hello children, welcome to Orchid School. My name is Ms. Shafkeen Jawali and I am the class teacher of class 4B. Today, we all will be studying children figures of speech. Today, you will learn four figures of speech. Number one is simile. Number two, alliteration. Number three, repetition. And number four, personification. Let's study these four figures of speech in detail with examples. The first one is simile. Now, what is simile, children? It is used to compare things. It tells us how the things are similar. And the words like and as are used in the sentence simile is used to compare things children and if you see a sen in the sentence if you see the word like or as used in the sentence means which figures of speech it is it is simile let's see with the examples the first example is as sweet as honey the sweet is compared to the honey and which which word is used to compare the word as is used to compare the second one is as dry as a bone the dry is compared to the bone and the word as is used to compare these two things the third is to soar like an eagle to soar like an eagle, the soar is compared to eagle and the word like is used. The fourth one is to fight like cats and dogs. The fight is compared to fight like cats and dogs and the word like is used to compare the fighting. The fifth one is to drink like a fish. The drink is compared to a fish. And which word is used to compare these two things? The word like is used. Let's see the second figures of speech. The second figures of speech is alliteration. Now what is alliteration children? Alliteration is where there is repetition of sound within a phrase or sentence. Let's see the examples. Example number one. She sells sea shells on the sea shore. The given sentence is which figures of speech? It is alliteration. And have you noticed children? The, the sound of the letter S is repeated when there is a repetition of sound of letter in the sentence. Means which figure of speech it is? It is alliteration. Let's see example number two. I finally found the flower. The given sentence is alliteration and the sound of letter F is repeated. Example number three, Betty bought butter. Again, alliteration, the sound of letter B is repeated. Number four, Heidi holded her hand. Again, the sentence is alliteration and the sound of the letter H is repeated. The next figure of speech we will study is Repetition. In repetition, children, words are repeated. Let's see with the example. Example number one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The given sentence is repetition. Why repetition, children? Because the word twinkle is repeated. And when there is repetition of word, means the given figure of speech is repetition. Let's see example number two. 
he feels happy others feel happy the given sentence is repetition because the word happy is repeated example number 3 humpty dumpty sat on a wall humpty dumpty had a great fall the given sentence is repetition why repetition because the word humpty dumpty is repeated in the sentence the last uh, figure of speech is personification let's see what is personification an object or non living things or animals are given human quality when objects non living things or animals are given human quality that figure that that sentence that figure of speech is personification let's see the first one the camera is smiling the given figure of speech is personification because a camera is a non living thing and it is given a human quality of smiling and smiling is a human quality example number 2 the sun is dancing with me again the given figure of speech is personification sun is a non living thing and it is given a human quality of dancing example number 3 the moon is peeping in the room personification moon is a non living thing and it is given a human quality of peeping peeping is a human quality children example number 4 the bread jumped out of the toaster again the given figure of speech is personification because bread is a non living thing and it is given a human quality of jumping the bread cannot jump on its own and jumping is a human quality so it it is given a human quality of jumping i hope you all have understood this very well let's meet you in the next class